Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, our topic will be the step-by-step -step process on how to apply for your establishment's hazardous waste registration online or using the hazardous waste management system. I have provided the link of the website in the description below. As you know, hazardous waste registration certificate is part of the compliance under RA 6969. All establishment generating hazardous waste shall register online all their generated hazardous waste. This certificate will also be a prerequisite when applying for other permits such as permit to transport and when availing the services of EMB accredited hauler and treater. First of course is to log into your hazardous waste management system account. If you don't have HWMS account yet, just comment down below. If you need help in creating one, I can create another video tutorial about it. But you can also see the step-by-step -step process on the EMB website. Most parts of this application is self-explanatory, so I will be focusing more on the waste profiling. Next, click on the Generator tab, then select Applications. Third, click the New Generator Registration button. This step is also applicable for amendment. Appropriate buttons will be available if there is something you can amend. But since this is a new application, we will proceed by clicking the New Generator Registration button. This page will appear next. Fill up all the necessary information in the form. To determine the PSIC number of your establishment, I have put the link for the list of industry classification and industry code. Indicate if your existing permit was applied manually. Write down the PSIC number and other information by clicking yes or no on the circle portion. To further understand, let me show you a sample filled up form. On the screen, you can see the example of accomplished form. Once complete and done, click the next button. You need to upload all related environmental permits such as environmental compliance certificate. Environmental compliance certificate is crucial. Since ECC has no expiration, there is no need to fill up the expiry date portion. After successfully uploading the permit, the result will look like this. You can add more related permits, but in my case, ECC is only applicable because we don't have discharge permit, permit to operate, and so on and so forth. On this portion, you just need to provide the following details such as what your product lines are, or if you also cater services such as, for example, repair, hauling, calibration, etc. All you need to do is click the Add More button. Then, this page will appear wherein you can fill up the details of your product name and our service description. In our example, our product name is Electronic One, and we do not cater any type of services. In that case, just indicate NA or not applicable. This is the part I was talking about earlier. We will be more careful here. You need to input the type of hazardous waste that your establishment generates. Then, click the Add More button. On this example, the waste generated is sulfuric acid in a solid form. Based on its safety datasheet and other references, this is considered as toxic and corrosive. Our current waste management practice is that we place it inside a non-corrosive metal container, which is then provided with a catch basin or secondary container so that, in case of spill or leaks, the chemical will be contained. This is being stored inside a secured and controlled hazardous waste storage. Just select the category in the drop-down options. So for the type of waste, select sulfuric acid. The nature is solid. Then tag it as toxic and corrosive in the catalog option. Lastly, add your current waste management practice. Then click Add Waste Profile button. In case you are wondering how to determine the information needed in this part, you can always refer to the characteristics of the particular waste on its safety datasheet. Just be sure that the SDS you will be using as reference is reliable. Or, if SDS is not available, you can use other reliable references such as websites, consultants, or even EMB personnel. However, if you really want to ensure the classification of waste generated is accurate, you can avail the service of TCLP or the Toxicity, Characteristics, and Leaching Procedure. Please be warned that this procedure is expensive. However, on the positive side, 
TCLP can save you money in the long run because you will be able to determine or filter out waste that should not be considered to be hazardous. There are instances that if we rely on the SPS and on our own judgment, waste that are not actually hazardous are being held by our service provider, which in turn adds to their billing. On this part, I just want to show you an example of a safety data sheet wherein you can see the characteristics of the material. In case you have multiple hazardous waste profile, just click the Add More button, click the blue icon to view your entry and red icon to remove it. Some more examples of hazardous waste type based on Delta 2013 22 Section 2 or the classification of hazardous waste can be seen below. First is the I-101 or used oil. This is considered as ignitable. Second is the M506 or the waste electrical and electronic equipment. This is considered as toxic. Lastly is the J201 or the contaminated chemical container which is considered as toxic as well as ignitable. This is the section 2 of DAO 2013-22. After filling up the necessary information, upload all the files. The one with asterisk is mandatory to any type of industry. Again, those with asterisk are applicable to all the industries, meaning those without asterisk will be uploaded if and only applicable to your establishment. After selecting file in your computer, select appropriate file type in the drop-down box. Example, you upload the scanned copy of file for Julie Notarized Affidavit. Then select Julie Notarized Affidavit in the drop down box, then click Save button. You will notice that there is a blue check mark on the Julie Notarized Affidavit. Upload all the requirements that has an asterisk in the label and match it in the appropriate file type in the drop down. Continue uploading the other files needed. Once all the uploaded files already match the appropriate file type, and all the required documents as a blue check in the list, submit the application by clicking on the Finalize Application button. A Terms and Condition prompt will appear. Click Agree. Then, the system will notify you that your application is successfully submitted to EMB. The status for all submitted applications may be viewed by going to the Applications tab. At this moment, the default receiver of the EMB regional office will receive your application. Wait for several days and check your account consistently to view if the application is approved. You can also receive notification on the email address you use in creating the HWMS account. Certificate can be downloaded through this HWMS account once the application is approved. Alright, same thing. As a way to thank you for making this part of the video, I will give you the following side notes and tips. Number 1. Create a mass balance of the process, enable for you to clearly identify what are the generated waste of your organization. The example will be flashed on the next slide. Number 2. Let each assigned personnel from each section or department of your establishment to identify their processes and corresponding waste aspect and environmental impact. For example, the process is assembly of the parts. Its aspect will be use of chemical such as adhesives. The impact will be generation of contaminated containers and contaminated drugs used for spill, so that will be considered as hazardous waste. Last but not the least is, as I have mentioned, TCLP is one of the most accurate yet expensive way to identify the characteristics of the waste, whether hazardous or not. But then again, this will save you costs in the long run. This is a sample of mass balance of manufacturing process, wherein you will identify all the inputs and outputs of your processes, such as raw materials and generated waste, respectively. Well, that's it. Again, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe as a way to support this channel. See you on the next video and goodbye!